how to improve your flexibility because if you move better, you can surf better. Chris Mills with surfstrengthcoach.com. That is Hollow Trees. I'm at the Hollow Trees Resort in the Mental Wise. Giving you guys some insight on how to improve flexibility. There's no quick fixes. There's no one class. There's no one stretch. It's a process working on it. Consistency. It takes time to undo unnecessary tensions. Another big key, get some manual therapy if you need it. Get a proper orthopedic assessment. You can see what individual muscles are tight, restricted. Again, it is a process. You are not going to undo 10 years worth of neglect in one week. Think three months, six months, 12 months and beyond. Tissue work combined with specific stretching. What I'm going to do is show you how to break down an integrated movement into its subgroups. You can do this with any dynamic yoga movement, any type of full body flexibility movement. So this is a 90-90 hip stretch. We'll get into it in a minute. And we integrate it into full spinal rotation. This movement in and of itself has a lot of carryover. You're hitting spine rotation, opening up shoulders, hip rotation. You can also quite easily take that into what we call a pretzel. Similar good hip flexibility, good spinal mobility. I'll do it from this position for you. The thing is, people get into a yoga class or you try to do that and you're like, holy shit, this is impossible. But you need to identify what could be tight or restricted. So first, Hips might be, you might not be able to get into this 90-90. Tennis ball or foam roller around the hip joint. Lateral hip, TFL, glute medius, glute minimus. Spend about a minute or two all through lateral hip, both sides. You can even come a bit more posteriorly. Foam roller or tennis balls. You also high groin, middle thigh, start compressing that tennis ball into the abductors. All these can limit rotational hip range of motion. So about a minute or two in each spot, retest that 90-90. So 90 degree angle of the thigh, 90 degree angle, same as the knees. Can you be here? If you need to, you might need to prop yourself up. Don't excessively round the spine, right? If you round the spine, you're not stretching the hip joint. Nice and tall, lean forward, isolating the hip joints. You might find you're tighter on one side compared to the other. If you can't get into this 90-90 position, get your hip joint checked out, your tissue release around it, and keep working on these 90-90 hip positions. So then we'll add in that rotation, but maybe the thoracic spine doesn't rotate. So thoracic spine mobilizations, using a tennis ball, you can get a chiropractor to adjust the spine. Thoracic spine, T12, so if you put your, low, your hand in your low back, it's the thumb position. If you put your hand on your neck, it's below the thumb. So think mid to upper back, not into the neck, not into the low back getting some, basically, you're going to wiggle back and forth a bit. If this is too stiff, use a rolled up towel. Once your spine stops moving and your hips stop moving, your surfing stops moving. No fluidity in a body can't move well. So you're going to find some particular segments in the spine that are tighter than others. Remember, there's 12 vertebral segments in the thoracic spine, so you're hitting one. We do that the entire thoracic spine, and then we go into a rotational mobilization, which is a rib roll. Lower body at 90 degrees so we can lock out the lumbar spine, breath in, exhale, pull the ribs over. You're going to find you're probably limited on one side. Doing the tennis ball release work prior to the rotation helps loosen things up. You might also find you're really tight through the 
lats, which can also limit rotation, foam roll, or tennis ball, a minute to two per side, all of that tissue. And then we reintegrate everything, good 90-90 position, into a more flexible, dynamic, full body stretch position. Start coming into here. Again, we come into a pretzel position. Bottom leg straight off the body. Grab the foot so you're getting a stretch through front of the quad and hip flexor. This comes up so you're stretching some of the posterior hip and then you're getting spinal rotation. Straighten the leg, you can get hamstring flexibility as well. So, where are you limited? Isolate that with a specific stretch or mobilization or tissue, re tissue release. Reintegrate it into full body stretch position. Move better, surf them. That's simple. If you need more insight into the tissue release work or specific stretches, check out surfstrengthcoach.com. If you're in the mental wise, come to the HT's resort. It's top notch. Move better, surf better, get flexible.